Hello, in today's video, I am going to show you how to create your own cloud infrastructure from scratch directly on Brainboard. The first thing we need to do is to choose our cloud provider. We can choose from GCP, we can choose from AWS, from Azure, or from Scaleway. And let's say for today's session, we would like to work on AWS. Here are all the resources that we will need to use to build our own cloud infrastructure. Let's say the first resource we would like to use is the region. To do so, we simply need to drag and drop it directly on Brainboard here. Here, we can see all the configuration parameter for this specific resource with resource name, the region, and the extra attributes. Here, you can choose different regions, but for our use case, we will choose EU Frankfurt. Let's say now that you would like to have an AZ, an availability zone. To use it, simply need to drag and drop it, the AZ in your region. I am going to make it bigger. And we are going to change, or not, the resource name here. The advanced configuration, we are going to choose, for example, EU Central 1C. And we are happy with our choice. We apply it. Here, I make it a little bit bigger to include more resources. Let's say now we would like to have a VPC in the AZ. Let's say this one. We simply need to drag and drop it on Brainboard here. And the first power of Brainboard is that now is able to detect that the VPC is now in the AZ and in the region. We're going to modify the shape here to make it a little bit bigger like that and then we're going to open the cloud configuration here the resource name we're going to leave it like that this we are going to include this value and we are going to apply it then now let's say that we would like to have a subnet the subnet this one for example we simply need to drag and drop it on brain board and is able to detect that the subnet is now included in the VPC, in the AZ and in the region. And here we have AWC subnet underscore four. This we're going to modify and have it like this. And we are going to go to Advanced configuration if we want to see the tags, for example, and we're going to apply it. I'm going to make it bigger because I would like to have now an EC2. The EC2 that I would like to have, for example, is the T3A. I'm going to drag and drop it directly in the subnet and the EC2 is now included in the subnet VPC, AZ, and region. Here we have our resource name here, the advanced configuration with the tags that I showed you before and that you can modify. We are going to have as an MEI this value and we will apply it. Let's say now that we would have to add one more resource, like for example, the network interface. For example, this one, we are going to use it and drop it directly on Brainboard like that. Now, the network interface is included in the subnet VPC, NZ, and region. And let's say, for example, that I would like to add a connector from 
de T3A2 de AWS Network Interface like that and it's done. What, uh, what we can see here is that we have built from scratch our architecture and what is more interesting is that everything we have done in our architecture has been automatically updated in our code. So I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any question, please reach out to me. Have a great day.